we found something amazing here in Phuket, Thailand. We're at the Hogshead Pub, straight out of Harry Potter. Let's go inside and I'll show you something even more magical. Before you even go inside, you notice so many different Harry Potter references. I can see shrunken heads like they have in the night bus. There's a Nimbus 2000, the amazing broomstick. I noticed some pixies like we see in Defense Against the Dark Arts. And there's even a tiny little owl which looks like pig. Let's go in. One of the most magical things about it here is that they accept cryptocurrency. How crazy is that? So we're gonna order some food and drinks and we're gonna be paying for it in UST. UST is an algorithmic stable coin pegged to the US dollar. If you've heard of Luna or the Terra Network, then you probably already know what UST is. It's the world's fourth largest stable coin. So pretty soon it could be everywhere. Trust a Harry Potter cafe to be the first one to get in on it, right? Now let's go buy some food and drinks with our cryptocurrency. So obviously I'm going to be buying some butter beer today. I'm really excited to try it. Another cool thing I noticed here is there's a massive hog's head hanging up right behind the bar. It's so cool. There's other really cool details in here as well. There's a really massive dragon skeleton hanging from the ceiling and you've probably noticed the lighting as well. It really sets a mood. We feel like we're in somewhere really dark and cold, like somewhere that's in Diagon Alley. It's awesome. So I'm just going to open up Terra Station now and I'm going to pay for this with cryptocurrency. Yeah, Sorry, it's my first time. That's okay. <laughs> it's my first time. Oh, cool. oh, okay. <laughs> this is so cool. So I just got a butter beer and a cake and the total was 672 UST. Pure magic, right? So you can either choose to eat inside or you can come on out for the full Diagon Alley experience. This is amazing. It's like you've just used some flu powder and been completely transported to Diagon Alley. This is so cool. This is a great photo location. I think the one right behind me is inspired by Borgen and Burks the shop where Draco Malfoy goes to practice his vanishing cabinet skills. It's really impressive. There are so many little details. I can see skeletons on one side, and on the other side, there are more shrunken heads, like the ones that are in the night bus. It's so impressive. And on this side, we have another amazing shop front. I think this one is inspired by Ollivander's wand shop. It says that they create wands here, so that seems about right. It really looks a lot like Ollivander's shop. It's really cool. It's really beautiful and it definitely looks like something you'd find in Diagon Alley. The funny thing about this very dark building is it's actually the toilets, just through those doors. There's a whole second floor to the hog's head, so we're gonna head up there now. You're meant to be able to get a really good view of the dragon skeleton up here. There's an absolutely massive dragon behind me. It has huge horns, and it looks a bit like the Hungarian hornblower that Harry fights in the Goblet of Fire. It's so big, like I have no idea how they got it up here, but it's so cool. And I love it that there's a second floor so we can be completely level with it, taking in all those details. There are loads of huge gargoyles up here as well. I really love the werewolf one. I feel like it's a nice little tribute to Professor Lupin. So I decided to get two different types of cake. This one is a young coconut cake and this one is key lime. What I really love about this one though is it has a Slytherin inspired logo on the top of it. That's so cool. I also just had to get a butter beer to try. Whenever I read the books, the thought of butterbeer makes my mouth water, so there we go. We're going to try some today. First up, let's try some of the young coconut cake. 
Oh, the spoon goes right in really easily. It looks so creamy. Mm. It's really creamy and really coconutty. It has like pieces of desiccated coconut in it and it's really great. The texture is lovely. Mm. That's really good. It's so soft and so creamy. That's really, really tasty. Now let's try some of this delicious looking Slytherin cake. It almost looks a bit like a giant macaroon. It's quite hard and crumbly on the outside and the green line is a bit more soft. Oh, that's a big bite. Let's try it. That is so good. Wow, that's so good. Mm. It's so limey, like taste of lime is so strong. We ate key lime pie a few years ago in Miami and this reminds me so much of it. Taste is amazing. I love the textures as well. The inside is so soft and the outside so hard. It's really, really good. Mm. That's so tasty. Now let's try some of the famous butter beer. That's good. That's really creamy. It's like sweet, but not too sweet, you know? Like you get the liquid coming through and you get a bit of sweetness from the cream at the top, really buttery, nice cream, but that's really good. I've always wanted to try it. I feel like it's a life goal complete. Cheers. Thanks for experiencing the magic with me. I'll catch you in the next one.